so it's you know that's the thing. I mean, you know, we, we were at the modern you know furniture sale, uh, the Javits Center, and everything started looking the same, you know, rubber and plastic. And you know, we were, you know, let's step back another story. We were in, in France this summer and we were buying all this modern stuff, but this art dealer called me up and says to me, "Oh, you got to see this genius art dealer or this uh, artist. She makes this beautiful." You know, chandelier out of paper mache. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And she's like, forty-five thousand dollars. I'm like, you know, paper mache. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Uh. Well, we're in France at, at a sale, and we see probably the most beautiful Venetian mirror from the 1700s you've ever seen. And and if you saw the workmanship on this and the uniqueness, mm -hmm. it, it was just unbelievable. And so I think, as much as I love the modern stuff, you're gonna see things toward go back to a lot of the quality, craftsmanship, the workmanship. And, you're actually seeing it much, I think you're going to see a lot in the furniture design is where the, the market's going to boom more and, and go down from the temporary art market. And, you know. and so, well, his point was we bought the mirror for the same yeah. price. Right, off the paper machine. You know, we were like, we didn't buy the paper machine. Right, but we were like, maybe we'll sell two pieces of art to buy this mirror because it's something, too, that it's like a piece of art. It's so amazing and so beautiful.